world-class companies, world-class people. That makes up world-class Arizona, doesn't it? And this is an opportunity for us to introduce you to some of the world-class people who are participating in professional areas with those world-class companies, like Avnet, yes. Terry Radosevich. Hi, Pat. Well, we're delighted not only that you could be here representing Avnet, but that Avnet could represent itself also yeah. because the audience really ought to know that up to now, and the fiscal year isn't even over yet, up to now, I believe that the revenue stream is about 23, 24, 25.7 billion dollars. Billion, yes. They're pretty close? Yeah, pretty close. Well, considering that kind of an influx of cash and that kind of contribution to the community, that kind of success, what is Avnet? Yeah. It's very interesting. We're strictly a business-to-business -business company, so we're like one of the best-kept secrets in the Valley because we don't have any consumers, so that's why we're not a household name. But we're in the field of high-tech, and we're in the field of distribution. So we have suppliers like Motorola and Intel on our electronics side, and then we have customers like Honeywell and General Dynamics. And then on our computer side of the house, we have suppliers like HP and IBM, and then we strictly sell systems. We don't sell to individuals, um, so that's why the community doesn't know Avnet intimately, because they're not really our target market. But we are very interested in our target market here in Phoenix, knowing about Avnet, because this is our corporate head headquarters, our global headquarters. We're in 70 countries around the world, and our uh, CEO is housed here in Phoenix. All right. Right now, everybody is saying, wow, she sure knows that Avnet business, but they probably ought to get to know you. Yeah. Your official title is? Vice President of Community Relations and Public Affairs. And that sounds like it not only would be an interesting job, but it sounds like it might be fun. I always tell people, I have fun and they pay me. <laughs> what better job can you have than that? <laughs> oh, I know whereof you speak. When you talk about the international posture, though, that image of Avnet, uh, is it the same contribution to the world of business that you make here? Are they the same clients, the same customers in China, for example, that they are uh, here in Chicago, New York, and Los Angeles? It does vary somewhat, but it's the same line of business. So on our electronic side, it'll be any kind of manufacturer of electronic parts, computer chips, what we call IP and E. So some of the company names are different in Europe and Asia, but they're, the work that they do is basically the same. We know you're proud to be a part of our community. Absolutely. You've been here for quite a while, yes, in industry for quite a while, even yes. before Avnet. Yes, indeed. But I'd like to know, along with a lot of other folks who may be introduced to Avnet for the first time, yeah. why did the company choose Phoenix? Well, it's an interesting story because we had our operations in California and we had our headquarters in New York and we realized at one point in time that it just wasn't viable to do business in California anymore. And so we had to look to where we wanted to go to move our operations. And there were several large cities and they actually polled the employees at the time and said, well, we're thinking about, we've got it down to Dallas or to Phoenix. What do you want? And the employees were like, Phoenix, overwhelmingly, they wanted to move to Phoenix. So they took both the headquarters and the operations and moved them here. And what's really interesting is we already had an existing warehouse system here. It's one of the largest warehousing facilities in the United States. At one time, it was one of the largest in the world. So it just made sense to move our corporate headquarters to a place where we were already involved with, we knew the community, we knew the area was wonderful and that the uh, talent pool was rich and so it just made a lot of sense to move here. See, and this is one of our opportunities at KTAR.com to introduce you to just one of the parts of world-class Arizona that makes Arizona world-class. An organization represented here by Terry Radosevich, an organization called Avnet. And aren't you glad you found out about it here? <laughs>